YouTube has ever been a thing since 2005. Back then, YouTube was mostly known as an online dating website. However, YouTube has now evolved into a video sharing platform that we all know today. But what if I told you that there is a very disturbing part of YouTube that most people cannot see? This part of YouTube is accessible by only typing a full stop punctuation mark into the search tab. So before I get into the video, I just want to give a disclaimer that you shouldn't search this up on YouTube, as you'll find some videos that are not family friendly. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So as you may already know, YouTube is a massive platform. It's so massive to the point where there is 500 hours worth of content uploaded every single minute. Which theoretically means that there is 72 years of content uploaded to YouTube every 24 hours. Which obviously means that there is a lot of videos uploaded on YouTube. And obviously, there are going to be some videos that are going to be messed up. So this is why YouTube has the community guidelines in the first place. However, some people have still managed to bypass the community guidelines. And in this video, we are going to take a deep dive into this mystery, and simultaneously we are going to answer some questions like, how are they doing this? Why are they doing this? And etc. But for starters, I want to explain on how the search algorithm works. If you've been on YouTube for quite some time, then you'll definitely know what the search bar is. This is one of the main ways we're able to find videos that we want. However for this video, I have to explain how the search algorithm works on YouTube. Whenever you search something up, it uses an algorithm for the words that you've used in your search, in what order are they in, to show search results, that are mostly important to what you tried to search up in the search bar. And whenever someone uploads a video, it goes through an automatic feature, to check if this video is with or against the community guidelines. But however, like I previously said, these people have came up with a way on how you're able to bypass this automatic feature to the point where they were able to upload basically anything and everything they wanted. And it's way easier than you think, as all it takes for you to find these videos is only clicking once on your keyboard. If you type in the full stop punctuation mark into the search tab, the algorithm completely malfunctions, as the algorithm isn't able to detect any content of a full stop punctuation mark in a query. Which means if you type a full stop into the search tab, you're going to be greeted with some ridiculous suggestions. Some are just filled with emojis, some are just filled with random symbols, and some are just filled with different languages. If you add more full stops into the search tab, then you will get even weirder results. If you click one of these suggestions, then you'll be greeted with a bunch of meme videos, shit posts, and etc. However for this video, I'm going to be focusing on only one suggestion. This suggestion is going to show you stuff like I previously mentioned, with scary thumbnails, so that the people would be tricked into clicking on the video. As well as very popular horror videos, like the Mandela Catalog. No Through Road, these shitposts and meme videos with titles like this have become popular over the years, because this flaw with the YouTube search algorithm has been known about for a couple of years now. And people have used titles, tags, descriptions, and scary thumbnails like this, to get some cheap and simple views. However if you look hard enough, and ignore or go through the meme videos, shitposts, and more, you're going to stumble across some very terrifying illegal content that I cannot show on YouTube. And this includes stuff like gore, pornography, and And the worst part is that, these videos slip through the auto-deletion feature because of the full stop punctuation mark, and of the random symbols in the title of the video, which means that the only way these videos can get taken down, is if someone actually clicks the video, watches the video, and manually reports it. And take it from me, Someone who had to watch these fucked up videos for research purposes for this video, please don't search these videos up, because there is absolutely no point, and it's just unnecessary.
Over the years, a lot of people were discussing about these downright horrific videos that were found when looking up the search term, and wanted to know how, and why, some people were doing this, and no one really had a good explanation, except for one person on Reddit. On one of the posts that was discussing about these videos, a person replied with this lengthy, and well-written response. And this is what the person, had to say. I am a user who frequently goes on the Onion sites and deep web networks for my own entertainment. In doing this for years I know all the ways in the book on how to remain secure and safe. What I have found are multiple websites that share their privately available videos featuring Red Room and gruesome type content ranging from child to terrorism, all the way to edgy cursed art projects that are readily uploaded to YouTube and are public. Most of them are simple embeds. How do they get away with it? A flaw in the YouTube system of detecting content. Periods and the emojis. All these sickos do is upload their content metadata with these additions, and make them virtually unidentifiable. Only being removed once enough viewers find it and manually report it. So yeah, unless you want a literal link to the most disturbed portions of the dark web straight from YouTube, don't search things with a period in front, especially with emojis. So after this video, you're probably going to try to search this up anyway, however, I really insist you not. Don't let your curiosity take the better of you. You are going to see some messed up things. But at the end of the day, this is your decision, I'm just highly recommending you not to search this up. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, then please consider liking this video, sharing this video with your friends, and subscribing to my channel. I would really appreciate it and I hope you learned something new in this video. I also want to hear your arguments and discussions in the comment section below. But as always, take care, and peace out.